हेलो फ्रेंड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन ऑटोमेट द क्रॉस ओरिजिन आई फ्रेम यूजिंग सेलेनियम पाइथन विद द हेल्प ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब यू कैन ऑटोमेट क्रॉस ओरिजिन आई फ्रेम जस्ट इन लाइक फ्यू क्लिक्स ओनली एंड वेरी सिंपल वेरी ईजी विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम फर्स्ट लेट मी जस्ट ओपन अ वेबसाइट विच हैज़ द क्रॉस ओरिजिन आई फ्रेम आई विल लीव द लिंक फॉर दिस इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो यू सी दैट दिस फॉर्म हियर इन दिस पेज this is inside this google form is inside cross origin iframe i mean it's basically like cross origin iframe is simply that iframe which is coming from different source like this website is selectorsub.com and this form is coming from google.com also like below this if you scroll like this website is coming from some different source and this is from selectorsub.com so whenever there is a different source for the iframe then that becomes the cross origin iframe as well cross origin iframe and there are two more region like uh, even if the source is same then if port and portal is different then also it becomes the cross origin iframe now how can we automate them and how can we get the selectors x path of the cross origin iframe as well as the x path for that particular element so simply what you have to do just click on this selectors of logo here i'm showing with the pro version same thing you can do with the free version everything so here let's say we want to click on this yes no or any any of these icon any of these uh, radio button okay so what you have to do you just have to select those and you see that when you inspect that element selector sub automatically tells you immediately that this element is inside iframe and on the top you see that it is showing in red color this element is inside cross origin iframe so you got to know that this is inside cross origin iframe and when you click on or inspect this element let's say this cross origin iframe scenario we have clicked here and here you see that it is generated x path for this frame and x path for that particular inspected element so this is how you can generate the x path for any of the element inside cross origin iframe you just have to select that and now i will show you how you can write the code for that okay like this if you want for x path for this you just inspect this and then you can get the selectors here now let's go back to the code here i have written the sample code already so let me just comment out this thing or just delete this part <coughs> so you see that here it's a very simple code that it is opening this same page like if we run the code it will open that page okay now we want to switch inside that iframe so what we need to do we need to uh, first like switch inside this iframe so again i will show you just we inspect this element and here we got the x path for the i frame you see that we got the x path for that i frame here okay and just to make sure again like if you want to refresh or anything you want to do that you can do so here we want the x path for this i frame first so what we will do we will copy this x path and come back to your code now here you can start writing driver dot find element sorry we need to switch inside iframe so first we need to switch inside iframe so let's write driver dot switch to and then we have to switch inside frame right so there is a method frame and now here inside this you can pass the frame element so either you can write here like driver dot find element the complete command as an element or let us get the ex uh, iframe element separately here so iframe is equal to driver dot find element and by dot x path here comma i hope like if you are working with uh, selenium python then you know the syntax and here we will paste the x path of that iframe now we are we have switched uh, here we got the iframe element you copy this iframe paste it here okay so now we have written here this x path for iframe and we are switching inside iframe after switching inside iframe we need to click on that yes element right this one so here you see that we got this x path this looks like fine we can use it but the problem with this you see that there is a dynamic value we, and in fact like selectors have also support so what we will do we will try to make it some stable thing like you see that it is one element i5 and now this is entire row it is getting clicked but still it is recommended that you try to get the very close x path of that element so let's say we want to click on this yes so we'll try to inspect this yes here 
and now you see that this is pretty much very correct element right on which but still it is giving little long x path so in this case what we will suggest you try to write let's say here span and text is equal to yes okay so we can use this x path now come back here driver dot find element by dot x path here and we will paste the value of that x path and on then dot click okay and let me just add some weight here so that we can see that it is clicking actually now let us run the code so what we are doing first we are simply switching inside the iframe then we are performing the action on that element and it is pretty much handling in the code in the selenium python or selenium java it is pretty much same as like you handle the same source origin iframe so we after switching inside the iframe we are waiting for uh, before switching we are we wait for five seconds so that it get loaded properly in the dom and then you see that it is performing the click click here on the yes element so you can see that it has clicked it's very simple straightforward nothing like anything extra you need to do you have to simply get the x path of that iframe from selector sub just inspect that element you get the x path of that iframe switch inside that iframe and then just perform the click on your any of the element which is inside iframe this is how you can click on the element which are inside cross origin iframe using selenium python it's very simple i will create a more complex scenario a separate tutorial for this kind of element in the next video where if the uh, like these elements are inside cross origin iframe and inside shadow dom multiple shadow dom like if you if we try to inspect this element you see that this element is inside cross origin iframe red tooltip on the left side and also it is inside shadow dom so for that i am i'm creating the separate tutorial please do watch that to learn really complex scenario and it's very very helpful thank you please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you